Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so um, we're on to uh, pretty much video three. They're pretty much all just individual videos, but if you do watch them in a row, they are gonna be we are gonna be configuring a um, a server, a Linux server, actually a LAMP server. So all we've done so far is set up SSH and uh, secured, uh, secured the SSH config file just so we don't allow like root logins and we change the port number and so forth not a big deal this video we're just going to install webmin we're not going to use it uh, too much we're only going to use it when uh, I'm getting lost in the command line I'm not a hundred percent good with the command line uh, I've only been using Linux for about a month now so but I'm learning lots so I'm uh, I have to set up a this same server at work so this is pretty much helping me by teaching you guys because I do a lot of research so what we're gonna do is just open up our uh, putty terminal to our server so you just log in load that or just log in with your IP address of your server Oh yeah, remember what we did? We changed the port. So, what did we change our port to? 5699. So now we can save that, and now we open. And it's just going to configure our key again. Alright. So now we just log in with our username. And password. Okay, so... Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a text file just so you guys can see it and uh, keep it. It'll help you with the installation here. So I'm just going to open this up a bit. Uh, open my text file here. Okay, so what we're going to do is install Webmin. Okay. So to install Webmin, we have to add um, certain lines to our apt folder or source list here it's just so that when we go like apt get it'll be able to go to these sites to eventually get the keys and then to eventually update all this and then we're going to eventually just update webmin okay or install webmin so to add those if you're using uh, putty you can just highlight copy and right click and it'll paste so what you want to do is go sudo nano and then navigate right to the folder so it's etc apt and then source okay and then your password Oh, sorry. See, I spelt sources wrong, so guys, just be careful that your uh, spelling is correct, because if you do nano and it's wrong, you'll just be uh, saving a new folder or a new text file. So just control X to get out of that. And you could go up and down. It'll give you your last commands here. Okay. So now this is our uh, source file. So we can just add this right here if you want to. So just give it some room. Go to your text pad here and just copy and paste this in. So copy and then just right click, paste, and then just uh, clean it up a little. Move this over. There you go. Okay, so that's in there so now you want to do a control O to save it and then enter and then control X to exit alright so we've done that step so now we can go down this list here save that exit so now we want to import the keys so from here just go sudo w get http Uh, 
admin dot com forward slash C hit enter. Okay, let's get in the keys. No, you want to go with sudo up key add jc enter oh see again I misspelled so I forgot to put my period okay so I hit enter and that's okay so you should see the okay there and now we're done with those steps so now we just want to update the source list so we want to just kind of update get updates sorry from these websites that we've added so sudo update Oh, it's because I'm in that uh, directory. So change directory, go right to the starting. Update. Alright, bear with me here, guys. So as you can see over here, how it's grayed out. Okay, so what I did there, guys, is um, this is how I had it. Okay, and when you notice it's gray, when you see like the grayness here, that's telling you that there's something wrong with this line. So just looking around, I've noticed that I forgot to put the DEB in front. So when you hit that, now it's saved. So you can hit Control O enter and then control X to get out so now we want to go to sudo app get update and now we get our updates alright so I just found my other error here I don't know what I did but I put deb here so that needs to get out okay Alright, now this should be okay. So now we hit Control O, Enter, Control X. But at least now you're getting a little bit of <coughs> troubleshooting. Sorry about that. So now we can get a sudo apt get update. There. Alright. Finally. Okay. So now, last step, we just want to install webmin. Okay, so we're going to issue this command here. So sudo apt get install webmin. Hit enter. And you want to hit yes for the additional space. So it's just taking a minute to download here. Yes, my bad for all that uh, errors there with the uh, sources list. But like I said, at least you got a chance to uh, see how to kind of troubleshoot your errors here. So like it says at the bottom, it's just setting up webmin. Should take a few moments. All right. So as you can see here, webmin install complete. You can now log in to https colon forward slash forward slash and then your uh, host name. So which mine would be test proxy or your IP address. For instance, mine would be 192.168.0.14 colon 10,000 and forward slash. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I can actually exit out of uh, Putty. So as you can bring up your internet here. So you want to go HTTPS colon 
forward slash forward slash for instance for instance minus test proxy colon ten thousand forward slash and hit enter oh sorry my bad sorry about that guys if you don't have a DNS server you're not going to be able to uh, log in with your host name so you got to do it with your IP address and just hit okay so all this is saying is just you know we don't have certificate for this website which is fine so just hit continue to this website and here is your uh, login so you log in just as if you're logging into uh, putty and no I don't so this is webmin so from here you can do lots of stuff uh, you can check out your servers see we got our SSH server there uh, you can go others you can go to command shell and just type in command signal uh, single commands here or you can go to text login so you'll actually get another login here just as if we were using putty so if you want to do your configurations we can do our configurations in here just log in see so it's pretty neat okay uh, what else you can check your networking bandwidth monitor TCP wrappers your network configuration here host name and DNS so we can change our host name right there instead of typing in those commands you know DNS servers that's just my ISP you can put those to the Google servers if you wish which is uh, 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 and just hit save or return okay so there's quite a bit of stuff we can do in uh, webmin here it makes it all nice and easy you know you can uh, view system information just right here gives you a quick breakdown of about your uh, your server you know how much memory uh, disk space you have left so this is it for this video um, I guess what we'll do next is now we're gonna get into squid and uh, you know we'll set up a squid and Apache server but uh, for now we're gonna set up squid and we're gonna limit um, internet traffic to and from my my house you know and we're gonna put an ad zapper on that so you won't get those annoying ads you see all over your screen they're gonna be all wiped out which is gonna be good so uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching guys